firstly, I'm just going yeah. to ask you uh, quickly, you've been to New Zealand quite a few times, yeah. and the first time I remember was in 1998, uh, in a little place called Lynn Mall Shopping Centre in West Auckland, uh, you were here with the All Saints. That is true. Yeah. Do you remember it at all? I remember coming over. I remember because I just found out I was pregnant with my beautiful daughter. So that's how I kind of gauge. I know I was here exactly 16 years ago. Well, a little bit more than 16 years ago. Um, and I remember going to the mall, but I do not remember anything else. Like the power going out. I don't saw people that. screaming. That's amazing. I don't remember that. <laughs> you were focused on other things then, probably. Perhaps. Uh, but then obviously you came back for season one of X Factor and so now you've spent quite a bit of time here. What do you think of New Zealand? I love New Zealand, I really do. Um, it's, it's just as soon as I got the sort of got asked if I wanted to do it, I was just like, yes. Because A, I love the X Factor, B, I love New Zealand. So I was sold and I was, the people are amazing. It's nice and clean here. There's amazing things to see. There's amazing food. I just, I'm, like, I'm sold, I love yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so it's obviously been quite a dramatic series this year with what happened with the judges. Mm. Um, how have you found that to deal with? Obviously there's been a lot of public attention and scrutiny on pretty much the entire format of the show. What are your thoughts on that? Um, I mean, I think the way everything has been dealt with, as far as like how our expectors handled it, I think it's been pretty spot on. Um, it's been a bit mental, but you know, the expectors always full of drama. It's just it comes from different places sometimes, um, and it is what it is. I think it's a good show, yeah. and it doesn't really matter what happens. The only thing I would say is that at certain points it did take away a bit from like the actual acts, acts and the performance side of the show but we're back on we're back on that train now and we're <laughs> yeah. riding it home uh, your phrase smashed it do you, is that got a did that just kind of come about out of you saying it a lot or yes I often say things smash it <laughs> and so when I had to describe I mean you know what uh, my vocabulary isn't huge <laughs> hence why I repeat myself a lot smashed it just is nicely describes that feeling of many things. So who smashed up the series for you? Who do you think is likely to win? Well, it's taken a while for there to look like who were the front runners. I think after last night, I think we're starting to see the really strong contenders. I think there's a few now. I, I do love Nisa. I love her. I just love watching her. I love listening to her. I love her face. Um, and also like Steve Ford I think is super talented um, and really deserves a, a, a chance like this because you know he's, he hasn't had the best of luck in life and yeah. I just really I'd love to see him do well. Yeah, Brendan Thomas and the Vibes as love well? Love them, I love them, I love Stevie Thomas, I love Bo, yeah. Um, yeah. Tonight's a double elimination, who do you think's at risk? I don't know because I think they're all they're all pretty good now. So it's it's really it's it's almost goes further than the talent. It's like just popularity and who people are willing to pick up the phone and vote for. Before we get into the quick questions, do you, have you ever thought of making a comeback and hitting the stage yourself? Well, I did get back with my girls last year. Yeah, we went on tour with the Backstreet Boys, and that was super That's right. fun. Yeah. Um, it looks like we're going to be going into the studio again when I get home. That sounds really hot. That <laughs> was happened for a reason. I was like, don't do it, Mel. <laughs> oh, no. OK, maybe I won't. Uh, that sounds really exciting. I'm looking forward yeah, to that. Yeah, no, I'm looking forward to going back in there with them. Yeah. Uh, we always have a lot of laughs yeah. and a lot of drink. <laughs> I'm in the studio, so I can't wait. <laughs> um, in terms of other artists that are around out there at the moment, would there be anyone that you'd like to work with on one of those tracks on that album? Any guest performers? Um, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're actually well, not so much to work with for the band because you know, obviously, also yeah. it's quite a particular yeah, yeah. set. But I discovered a guy the other day, and actually, I was in a bar in New Zealand, well, but just over, the, over there. Yeah in Ponsonby and um, he was playing a track and I was like what is this I love this and it was um, Andrew Ashon okay and a track called Flowers and 
I had I tweeted about him and he got back to me and maybe we might do something eventually, That's but I love cool. him, so check him out. That's awesome.